It's been a couple of years now since I've been officially welcomed into the Red Cow Fold. Oh, sure. Every big holiday, there's a big project that I do. The really big one was Max Three Science Theater 3000. Right. That was the yep. huge, that was the set and all the set pieces. The next really big one, I think, was last year's uh, Christmas. The Santa, the puppet. Yeah, and uh, look at this beautiful. Oh, yeah. I upgraded them a little because last year, I just gave him these crappy antlers, and this year I gave him a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So this year is a little different because it involves everyone. He actually hinted at this. You should make a Gunter Klaus ornament. Oh, I could do that. It's an advent calendar? It is an advent calendar. Do you want to see a big... I want to show you a Christmas tree. Can I show you a Christmas tree? First one is... On the first day of Maximus, Matthew made us... A bowl of mac and cheese. So who wants to do number two? It's a little red, a little cow. red cow. They get progressively more impressive. Kirby, would you like to do number three? On the third tree in the tree thing. This is Zachary's. A little headphones. I'm not a permanent fiction. Okay. I really like the headphone one. Yeah, that's, that's cool. cool. Number four, here we go. It's a little GH4, which is the camera we've been shooting uh, Box Max on for five years. In addition, of course, to things EJ has robbed from yes. the black market. Kirby can do number four. Five. Oh, it's just a big shell. I see. Nina okay. and Glow should do number oh, six. Oh, Gloria. Oh. oh. Mommy and Gloria. Oh. And an ornament. So this was one of the more complicated ones. That's Mommy and Gloria. That's you guys. Yeah. I gave you some big beefy shoulders now that I'm looking at. It's tough to get Nina's booty just right. Yeah. <laughs> John, why don't you do number seven? It's a bow tie noodle. Very nicely noodled. Yes. This is a uh, mixed media, so this is actually model magic. It's like a foam. Why doesn't Frankie do number eight? Arigatoni! EJ has to do number nine. Uh, <laughs> what are you trying to say about me? <laughs> I definitely uh, bring an alcohol beverage to the show today. And now Frankie has to do number 10. <gasps> it's me. That's <laughs> It's Santa Daddy. This is me from last year. I'm a lot shorter, a lot shorter than my wife. <laughs> you also don't have legs if you're paying attention to Oh, okay. Mommy and Gloria and Daddy. <laughs> wow. I'll do number eleven because it's the closest thing to being me. Is it oh, trash wow. bagot? It's trash bagot. Oh, we don't have the rights to that particular puppet. You and mommy can hold it together. Who is that? That's sure. puppet. It's a puppet. The last one, Jonathan. Well, what do you think it's gonna be? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that, Gloria? John. It's me. It's a I think most advent calendars have 24, but I was like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> See, it's an uffy one. It's, See, it's everyone. everyone. I didn't sleep at all last night. <laughs> So Frankie, earlier this year, Matt and I went on an adventure to go get this table, of which there is no video documentation. Oh wow, um, this is a new table? This is a new table, and eight matching chairs, as you can see. Wow. Got it for 300 bucks. So this must be an exciting opportunity for you. You have a tremendous amount of faults graphics. So you've never gotten to take all your dishware and make a full table And make it. a full table setting, so, so I'm gonna do that today. These are my faults craft napkin rings. Do you like these napkins? I do. Then like you should them. put a ring on it. Oh gosh, that's, I guess that's why we invited him here. Trying, but. I'm trying. <laughs> In ring sizes, what would this be? Massive, elephant time. Oh, you wanna see a trick? No, I don't. One, two, Do it. three, four, five. I counted to five, ta-da! I was a little on the edge of my seat. I was like, I don't know what Matt can do. Those are exactly the kind of skills I loved learning so that I can do them at parties to impress people. Yeah. You ever drank like a whole thing of Tabasco sauce? <laughs> no. So let's get this nice tablecloth on. It is nice. Let's start with the candles in the center. Table setting is one of those things that gets messed up immediately. It's really like not. making one's bed. Could you head over there and I'm gonna have you plasp me out some dishware. So Frankie, how exciting do you find silver? You know, it's 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 a journey for me. <laughs> Do you want to help? Do you guys want to help? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Please align the tulips so it looks, you know, very nice. We can give each one a salad plate. You just want to put your salad plate right in the center of the other plate. Watch the crazing. Okay, so next we're going to make our napkin bundle. So why don't you get those napkin rings, Frankie? Just pull through. Center. Yeah, it looks a little like a, you know what, but... Frankie, do you want to start putting out some silverware? Two oh, no. Two knives. We only have one knife today. And then a dessert spoon would be up here. Why does your yeah. shirt match the plates? Did you not notice that everyone's shirt matches the plates? Where am I? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> this is my fault for missing a few episodes. Now it's a whole different thing. Is it too phallic? How many dicks have you seen that look like this? A lot. We're gonna just wrap them in a nice little... Good, that doesn't look like a I think he wants to use those rings pretty badly when they're impractical. What are you yeah. supposed to use those things for? 
This. They usually have the silverware in it at restaurants anyway. When you get there, yeah, like but not, around, not, not when it's and then you that. take it out and there's like, I'm not fancy. Most food I eat is out of a bag. Did I do it right? It looks a little too big and floppy there. It's all about getting that tight fold. <laughs> Typically, this silver would be polished first, Jonathan, and not have so many schmutz. It's like a wasp or something. It's just banged in the window. I, I heard it. It was big. I think it's a wasp. All right. Anyway, I think we should all stop and obsess. I think we should stop and kill it. Well, I thought my wife already left. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, let's get the women out of here so we can do the folding napkin segment like men. <laughs> if I hear one more thing about that wasp, I'm out. We literally only mentioned it about 30 seconds one ago. One more thing about that wasp. Did Gentiles use the phrase waspy to describe white people? They do, right? There's a wasp at our waspy event. <laughs> yeah. Don't you dare kill that bug. On the floor, there's a milk crate of some goblets. There's no handle. They're not supposed to have handles. There's two different sizes. One is a water goblet and one is a wine goblet. Did Jews use false graphic Christmas? What? <laughs> See how much there is? Like, that's cabinets full of it. Is this one of those things that you're gonna watch two years from now and go, why do we find that funny? I mean, it, it, it's undoubtedly funny that he has bought this much, independently. That is a lot. Like, you think there's a lot, and then you open the cupboard. Yeah. And a cover, a butter cover, too. I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's enough. And then you wanna light them candles? Yeah. Hallelujah. What? Holy sh. Where's the Tylenol? <laughs> All right, EJ, now the only thing that can save this is good B-roll, so. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go. Take a look at the five and 10. It's glistening once again with candy canes and silver lanes that glow. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas and Toys in every store But the prettiest sight to see Is the holly that will be On your own front door So, when you think of winter, what's the iconic figure? Jack Frost! <laughs> Close, a I French mean, call him Bonhomme. I, I know the, um, you're, tr you're getting to snowmen here. Yes, yeah. mom taught me this. Here's a sock for you. A brand new retail sock of medium quality. You cut it right above the heel. Goodbye sock, sorry you had a <laughs> life. So you get this white part with some twine. You wanna come help me make a snowman? Okay. Socks, that's a snowman. That's what silly. What do you do with the rest of the sock? I can make a brooch, I can make a hat, I can make a pterodactyl. <laughs> uh, chew, what do we do when we cough? We spread your disease to everyone else in the room, that's right. A reindeer. A, a reindeer? reindeer? I found lights. If this is not tight, then the rice is gonna fall out all over the floor, and then who eats it, who picks it up and eats it, and the then drives mom. And drives mom out of her mind? Oh, That's nice. right. There's a lot of Christmas imagery with mice. Did you know that mice are incontinent? So everywhere they're running, they're urinating. I'm gonna get lie. a lot of crap from the vegan haters mm. about the fact that I don't like mice. I have tied like 38 to okay. 40 knots. So now, turn it inside out. We each get busted out cup. Okay, a busted out cup. Because what we're gonna do next is fight off evil monsters with super ineffective tools. This is just dried rice, just common every day. Is it long, medium, or short? You tell me. Medium grain. Medium, medium grain. grain. It just needs to be white rice. If you really wanted to, you could do wild rice. Why not brown rice? That's fine. Why not quinoa? Oh. Why not millet? Ooh, I want millet. So you kind of want to stretch them out. So by doing this, I've actually made more room. Fatten them up with rice. That's right. Feel it out. You don't want it to bust at the seams. Do I need more rice? You could put a little more rice in there if you want. If I want, you're the expert. How do I know? I'm saying how you can make it. I'm not saying how you must make it. What do you think this is, a, a snowman dictatorship? <laughs> <laughs> Mine just looks like a sock with rice. I tied a knot at the top once it was full enough. God, Jesus Christ. Oh, I should have <laughs> used the damn filter. EJ, don't look over here. Do what you must, John. <laughs> and I'm gonna reshape after I tie, I think. That's fine. That's that's the method I'm going with. I gotta kind of hold my my uh, snowman sphincter. This one is is gonna be is fun. I'm I'm having a fun time playing with rice, really. You know. <laughs> so now you gotta pick what you want his outfit to be. This is a beautiful sock. We're gonna cut this up. We sure are. Does snowmen have outfits? You gonna give that to what someone? <laughs> Oh, I'm supposed to give this away? Now that I know that we're making these as gifts, I'm making mine for Zach. Okay. I call Zach. I also want to give it to Zach. No, you can't have Zach. I called it. You've got to pick someone else. I mean, I think mine's pretty good, to be honest. Compared to what? 
Yours. <laughs> all right, let's keep in mind we all want to make something nice for Zach that he's gonna <laughs> like. Ladies' choice, which do you prefer? Zach, which one do you like? I like the left one. Okay. I know it breaks John and Zach's it heart. It kind of does because it, ruin this sock has been stuff. a lot of work. Look, it was all stitched together. Just make sure the water bottle's not on the table or Frankie will f***ing kill you. So now we're gonna dress like Avril Lavigne. You stretch it over, just like you're putting on a condom awkwardly. It was the condoms you wear when you want to get pregnant. Yeah, baby, it's totally safe. I saw this on Bob. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Well, I would never do that. I'm gonna use a closed sock. It's pretty much like a turtleneck for him. Okay, I'm not entirely displeased so far. <laughs> <laughs> to make a little hat. I think Zach's gonna be really happy with the outcome. John, I believe I've heard you say that you have a family Yankee swap. You could bring them a snowman. Oh, this thing's growing on me, to be honest. We have pipe cleaners, googly eyes, which I like, buttons for his face, Fabri-Tac, Ocean State job lot was three bucks. It's glued it's specifically designed for fabrics. Look, we have a little hat for your cow. It goes right here. It goes right here. Good job. Thank you. I needed that. If you make this with two gentlemen, they really do hog the glue. I don't think you've asked for it once. Would Madame care I was for being some polite. fabric tack? It's kind of cute, isn't it? In a way. All right. I'm pretty satisfied. I just need a tiny bit more fabric tack and then we're done. Once you Says. Well, now I sort of feel like he's my child, and I just want what's best for him in the world. And what's that? Zach's house. Zach. <laughs> I went kind of spooky with mine. I think it's pretty spooky that your snowmen don't have arms. Mine is so cold that his arms are inside his coat. I like the colored cheeks on this one, and I love the nice scarf. They all have good personalities. Yeah, yeah. we all win. There's really nothing wrong with any one of these. I like the eyebrows on John's, because he looks like he's upset slightly. <laughs> kind of flatlined. I actually, I like it. I think this has been a really cute craft, Matt. Frankie, you had a wonderful idea. We're gonna give it a try. An eggnog macaroni and cheese. What could be more holiday than that? Let's see. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of more ways we can marry holiday season Mac and cheese, because that's yeah. kind of our thing around here. Yeah. We've done milk and butter substitutes before. We absolutely have. I did a quick search online, and I thought that this time, rather than trying to construct my own thing, I would go with someone else's wisdom. And there is a recipe for eggnog macaroni and cheese. At worst, it would give it that sort of sweet nog taste, yes. right? Everybody I've run it by has been like, that's gonna be awful. But I've had good sweet macs before. I'll give you an example. That delicious pumpkin puree mac. Yeah, had. that one was pretty good, but it wasn't as sugary sweet as this might be. So there was a long prep step that I did before we started started today, which is to take the eggnog, which is a tremendous amount of egg tub, 32 ounces of eggnog. Totally. Yeah. And a cup of milk, and you simmer that with bay leaves, sage, and thyme for an hour. And then you drain off the herbs, so you just have what's left. So I think what they've tried to do is infuse some flavors that's gonna cut down that sweetness. And there's also a couple other things that I don't think we've ever used before in Mac. Have we ever used a Worcestershire? I'm excited about that. Yeah, I love the flavor of Worcestershire. Yeah. As long as it's it's subtle, it's not too overpowering because it is a pretty strong flavor. Rouse homemade pasta, these are elbows. So I was looking for kind of an upscale elbow. A pound of pasta and we got like a pound and a half of cheese. Okay. So it's gonna be like high cheese ratio. And you went with the hood golden eggnog, your favorite. It's my absolute favorite. In fact, the only one I will drink. A lot of them are high fructose corn syrup and I think it makes it taste awful. Milk, cream, and sugar, you can see are the first mm -hmm. three ingredients. Classic paprika for a homemade mac. Yes, this is my new favorite shredded cheese for sure is the cabin. I've got two different types, Vermont, and New York. I mean, they're pretty similar. They're both just sharp cheeses. Parmesan cheese as well. So that's the eggnog base. And what we're gonna do is actually put the cheese and herbs into that, just like we'd normally use like a bechamel. EJ, you kind of lit up when the idea was first floated. I just li I like sweet and savory yeah. flavors. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's like sugar and fat. <laughs> <laughs> like I like pineapple pizza, like all that stuff. This is one of those memified things, you know? Yeah, I don't know why people get so upset about it. I, 
like pineapple on pizza more than I like pepperoni. You know, I've really kind of fallen out of love with pepperoni. Yeah, it's just a greasy disc. That's all you really get, and a little tiny bit of like spice. You're way better off with a nice sausage. Sausage, uh, you know what I actually love that you can rarely get on your pizza is a hot sausage. You ever get really ill after having eaten something and they're not necessarily related, but you'll now relate them forever? Absolutely. That was the reason that I never went to a Smoky Bones BBQ. Mm -hmm. I got sick unrelatedly after eating it, and I didn't go back for years. Like, it just naturally, I had a natural aversion to it. I had, like, pepperoni and cheese and crackers. Yeah. You know, when you stack them yeah, up. Yeah. And I don't know, it's possible I was food poisoned by that pepperoni. I was really ill the next day, so um, I'm kind of not into pepperoni. I mean, that's not to say there aren't good pepperonis, but on pizzas nowadays, they use real cheap pepperoni. I've got this up to like lightly steaming temperature. It's not roiling or anything. And I'm gonna add in some paprika and some Worcestershire sauce. It was my grandfather actually turned me on to Worcestershire sauce. He used to always put it on his hamburgers. This is definitely like a unique set of herbal flavors. Having bay leaves, for example, we've never done bay leaves in a Mac before, because usually it's not possible. It's got a, on a culinary, level excite you to some degree? It does. And this recipe, by the way, from Drexel University. I don't even know where it is, but it's from Drexel University. Eggnog was never a huge part of my childhood or anything. You know it was a big thing around the holidays for dessert for us was uh, peppermint ice cream. Like the little yeah, bits of candy cane. I actually cane. like that ice cream. Yeah. Now I'd like to point out, I'm sure people are sitting there screaming at their televisions going like, I thought that you made a really big deal about hating peppermint, Frankie, in past snack videos. Okay. And I did. I don't like mint or peppermint. I don't like peppermint. You I don't, don't really like peppermint. I don't like peppermint. <laughs> Somehow when you add it to ice cream, it changes the whole thing. Well, I can understand that. Temperature is a huge factor in food, yeah. right? And the milkiness. Yeah. Do you think like an iced peppermint drink, like something that's creamy? Yeah, would I, I like would like that. Yeah, I think we just made progress. Yeah, we're moving forward. <laughs> they have eggnog ice creams? I've had that before. Yeah, I haven't had any ones that I really love. All right, Frankie, so do you want to start doing the honors? Would love to. Add it and wait till it fully melts before you add some more there. So whip while I nay-nay? Yes. And just add Add like maybe a half a bag and I'm gonna half a bag, half a bag. bag. Uh, is that about enough? Oh, you gotta put the whole bag. Oh, I thought you said to put a half a bag in. I'm gonna put the whole of that one and then a half of another oh. and then a whole another. So we got a lot of cheese to go. And just add like maybe a half a bag. Oh, you gotta put the whole bag. And just add like maybe a half a bag. We're gonna put the whole of that one. Just add like maybe a half a bag. And why does it matter all that much that you do it slowly? You just don't want the whole thing to get too cold all of a sudden, because then it'll take a long time to reheat. Oh, okay. It's not quite ready for more cheese yet. We gotta let the temperature come up a little bit, because we don't want to add more until it's really... Smoothie. Smoothie. It's looking pretty thin, though, and I guess that's to be expected in this recipe. Here, I just want to need a little bit. Each morsel you eat means one less morsel. <laughs> for a second, I thought you were reading on the back of the bag or something. Yeah. <laughs> Each morsel you eat means one less morsel. Oh, we have a... Reindeer that fell asleep. One sleeping reindeer. Hoi! I wasn't focused. Oh well. We'll spend a lot of money on a post-production sharpening filter that doesn't work. <laughs> when have you ever actually sharpened footage and it looked pretty good? Never. Never. When have you ever reduced noise in audio and it sounded pretty good? If it's really bad, then it just sounds like watery echo. Yeah, yeah. The... <laughs> when you're like previewing it. When have you ever reduced noise and audio and it sounded pretty good. <laughs> it like dips silent. Like <laughs> it's still pretty stringy. Okay, so we need a little more time on it. If we burn this, how, are you gonna cry? Uh, we'll just give up and we'll, um, <laughs> I'll just go to the bedroom. I think <laughs> it's not something I would ever wanna see. I just, I'll, I'll just go. I'll just leave. <laughs> My main concern is that it's really thin. So this might just be kind of a little bit of a soupy mac. You know, this is what you get when you use somebody else's recipe. I, I feel relieved because I can't be blamed directly. Yeah. It tastes like <laughs> No, the, no, it's- Does the, the cheese sauce taste like <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> it doesn't seem like there's enough cheese in it. Well, do we have more? I got more cheese in the fridge. What do you think this is? <laughs> it doesn't taste like everybody. It tastes like eggnog. It definitely tastes like eggnog. Eggnog and then you can taste the herbs. And then it. there's cheese on top of it that's not melted in yet. It's not the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. It will not make a good mac and cheese. Here Frankie, throw that in. Uh, Emergency cheeses. We're gonna add some of this. Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute, what are you doing? Get me that cheese. So we're adding more sharp cheddar. I think it's struggling to integrate. Bring up the heat a little bit. And I'm gonna add in some Colby Jack. <laughs> That's all I can do. I don't have like. That's all he can stands. He can't stands no more. <laughs> wow. Okay, we're we're ready. <laughs> the sound is gross. Ew, it's runny. Oh God, I'm so sad for the nice cheeses we used. Well, this is gonna need more than 15 minutes to bake. I'm very sorry. For once, I want it to be on the record here. 
We want to dry out the mac. We want to bake it for a good long while, maybe with some dry ass breadcrumbs. And they actually say to have breadcrumbs on it. Maybe we should. I don't think I even have any bread nog breadcrumbs. I don't keep breadcrumbs. Even Ritz's or something, dude. Oh. Even Ritz's or something. I got some crackers we can crush. Christmas is a time to try something new, to break out of old traditions. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. It's eggnog and mac. <laughs> <laughs> give it a, give it, give, no. Please, no, please do it. It's not a, oh my God, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> the experts at Drexel You're University. Drexel. Look at you with the breadcrumbs. Anything you can to save it. It's really impressive. Try my level best to not ruin Christmas. The dedication is awe inspiring. It's very heavy. Well, I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what will happen after it bakes? Echo set timer 20 minutes. So we have let it bake kind of extra long. Try to get some of that wateriness out. Try to maybe bake the eggnog away. I don't think it's gonna work. It smells kind of good. It does look pretty nice. Yeah, it's a visual. The cheese has solidified into a little crust on top. So we had it in there for about 40 minutes in the end. We'll use the gift spoon that was so nicely gifted to us. Really solid top, right? I mean, it's mostly cracker. We're talking about it like we made something good here. Still smells like eggnog. A delicious eggnog mac. Smells of herbs and eggnog. And sugar, yeah. You know, it's all wrong, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit arse. And I mean, it's a bit shite. The thyme and the sage they tried to cover the eggnog flavor with. I get the note of sage before I get the note of eggnog. What the hell were they thinking? Well, look at this big wasted mac. Nothing makes John sadder than this. And that's really the saddest part is a lot of really great ingredients had gone in and if I just use milk instead of eggnog. I mean, it's not bad. Is it bad? It's not good. Before we throw in the towel on this. Yeah. Is there anything we can just throw on it like Tabasco sauce or? How about some fresh ground pepper? Why don't we start with that? The pepper does nothing for me. Yep. It's now just, just smushy noodles with pepper. I think it's that time. It's that time that they need to try it. Get your asses in here. Matt, you too. It looks good. Doesn't it? Remember when people said it was gonna be bad? What do you think, Curbs? The best part is honestly the cracker crust. You can that. smell that, yeah, you can smell the eggnog. Yeah, I didn't miss that part. I, I don't know how to say this, but... Wish, wish to share. Get out of here. Get out of here, we're yeah. dad jokes. If I was starving, I'd eat it. I wouldn't eat this if I was starving. It somehow gets worse the longer you taste it. I want spice in it. Right, I agree. How about a little crushed red, Zach? I might try a little bit of crushed red too, see if we can save this. I don't think any any seasoning like this is gonna do it. You're gonna need some sauce. I think you have a gambler's fallacy with this. You're like, we put so much cheese in it, it's gotta be able to save it. I just gotta put more money on the crabs. <laughs> a sunk cheese fallacy? Yeah. How about a little um, wing sauce? Buffalo wing sauce? <laughs> that could work. Fresh red does nothing as expected. It makes it spicy. It really overpowers it. <laughs> and makes you forget that it ever had eggnog. Yeah, eggnog and Tabasco sauce. It's good with wing sauce. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's raw. <laughs> <laughs> it's raw. Where's the wing sauce? The wing sauce. I think I'm crying. <laughs> this was just a huge ball of sadness, a ball of Christmas sadness that we can't hang on our tree. It's not my recipe, so I'm not that sad. It's like, easily our worst homemade mac we've ever had. Yeah, please don't make this one. Next year, we're just gonna go back to a traditional French mac. Tempered egg, the whole nine yards? Yeah, we'll go back. We'll Next do tempered year. egg V2. This is gonna go right into the trash. I'm, I'm sorry so about it. There was a lot of it too. There was no shortage. I have to say the crackers. The cracker crust is actually the tastiest part. Easily the best part is the stupid crust. Yeah. <laughs> there are recipes on the website, Red Cow dot tv slash recipes yep. they have way better mac and cheese recipes than this yep. and there's still time for you to make an amazing mac and cheese don't make this one merry christmas yeah bye Makes happy kwanzaa oh, wing sauce this is good i'm gonna pick up some of that it's christmas time that's it for 2019, but if you want to binge Red Cow Christmas fun, go over to our Christmas playlist and enjoy five years of Yuletide YouTube. Of course, if you haven't by now, subscribe to this channel and our Red Cow Pods and Clips channel and visit redcow.tv and buy a shirt or a Blu-ray or something. Merry Maximus, everybody!